Yeah, Andrew, you know what? It is such a busy bridge. Take a look. You can tell just by the cars behind me how busy this bridge really is. And even through all of the construction here, the new bridge going up next to it, they have been able to keep it open. But that is about to end. This is no small change. 20,000 cars cross the Halton Bridge every day, and every one of them will have to stop. You know what the traffic's going to be like in Upmont and Run? A nightmare. The anticipation a little nervous and apprehensive about it. is echoed by locals, commuters, and business owners such as Mike Wayner, who says the closure will cut off customers. We have a lot of people that come from the other side of the river, Lawnox, Cheswick, Harmerville, Fox Chapel, that they're not going to come over. They're not going to go all the way around. And it is quite a ride. We drove the detours. PennDOT's first suggestion is that you take Allegheny River Boulevard to the Highland Park Bridge, then take Route 28 north to Freeport Road to get to the other side of the bridge. That detour in the middle of the day with no traffic took us 23 minutes. The second option PennDOT suggests we took from the other side of the bridge. This detour takes you north on Freeport Road to 910, then onto Route 28 North. There, you exit toward the New Kensington Bridge. That takes you onto Logan's Ferry and then Coxcomb Hill Road, which leads you to the other side of the Halton Bridge. This detour took us nearly 29 minutes, but during rush hour... There's going to be traffic no matter which way you go, so... And it will last two weeks while crews working on the new bridge reconstruct Halton Road at 3rd and at Freeport, approaching the bridge, beginning Thursday morning. It'll be for the better. But it'll be frustrating for a while. Yeah, but we'll get over it. You will not be able to cross this bridge in either direction beginning early Thursday morning, and it will not reopen until the following Friday. So plan your strategy now. Live in Oakmont, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Yeah, and Marcy.